Let's activate my coach and John here. Today I'd like to call on all you ex-runners. Maybe people that used to enjoy running and for whatever reason stopped running. Maybe there's lots of reasons why you stopped running. Maybe you got an injury that you didn't recover from or maybe you recovered but you didn't get back into the habit of running again. Maybe life got in the way. Maybe you got too busy. Maybe a lot of other priorities came in. Family uh, priorities are often a big thing and running got pushed down. And that's quite okay for that time. Maybe you didn't get as much encouragement from family and friends as perhaps you needed to keep you going. There could be a lot of reasons, but perhaps now you don't have that injury. And maybe now you've got a bit more time. And maybe now your family and friends don't consider running such a weird thing. Or maybe, maybe they still do, but you don't care. So now, ex-runners, would you like to start running again? And remember all those benefits, all those lovely things that can occur through the process of running, apart from injuries. Weight management, better sleep, better mental health, better physical health. There's a lot of benefits that running provides and you remember them, don't you? And you remember that lovely euphoric feeling that you would occasionally get from the release of endorphins and other neurotransmitters and neurochemicals. So now you'd like to know, well, how can I get back to starting running again? Well, here are some pointers that I'm going to provide. Okay, what are the pointers for ex-runners and maybe even new runners to get going, get to get started again? Well, here's my first tip, get your run gear ready, you know, your tops, your, your bra, um, your shorts, your tights, if cold, your hat, your shoes, your socks, get them all ready, go and purchase them if you haven't purchased them, if, uh, and have them ready for you to start. And I would say point number two is start by walking in that gear and get used to wearing that gear to see if it's comfortable. If it's too cold, more, more warm clothes. If it's too warm, then less layers. Number three, gradually do more running in those walks that you're going for on a regular basis. At least three or four times a week, get out there for that walk. Gradually make more of that walking running over time. Keep the running easy. That's point number four. Keep the running easy, 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 easy and not much quicker than your very fastest walk. And point five, most important for ex-runners, please be kind to yourself. Remember that you won't start again where you left off those months ago, those years ago when you were running on a regular basis. Why don't you look at the experience of returning to running as though you're discovering it all over again, something new and exciting, and something that you're going to enjoy. Have a very positive mindset about what you're about to do. And then, guys, do it. Come back to the fold, as it were, and start enjoying the experience of what is running. Oh, and a couple points, couple of points, maybe one point that I forgot to mention um, for ex-runners coming back to the fold is if you thrive on the company of others, why don't you search out some like-minded, some people in similar situations that would like to start running again. Start walking again and then start introducing those uh, run segments into your walking together. Uh, hook up with somebody or some some bodies where you can commit to certain days and times where you're depending on each other to keep it going or if you're an introvert like me and I mean that in a positive way we, we tend to be comfortable with our own company and are energized by that do it on your own and you'll probably do just as well see you guys